Hey Libra viewers. So I feel, not feel. <laughs> you guys are the last sign. I believe I got everybody. So this is going to be your January 2021 general reading. So only take what resonates with you. Um, understand that there is no like time frame. So it could be something that already has occurred. And maybe it's just resurfacing in January. Or something that you can have um, looked forward to in January of 2021. Um, also free wills at play. So people can make their own decisions about anything that you hear. So just keep that in mind that this is only the guidance for you to know about something that you're already questioning so basically your intuition is always going to lead you in the right direction so let's go ahead and see some overall energy for libra for january 2021 sorry if you hear all the banging and clanging that's my neighbors upstairs uh basically they have a zoo or something so <laughs> i'm being sarcastic uh what does libra need to know for january 2021. All right, so we have new beginnings for you guys. That's the first card that came out, so that's always good. <clears throat> what do you have in store for Libra for January? We have delight. So this is something that's going to be pleasant. We need to write that down real quick. And forgiveness. This actually came out with a uh, Taurus, so maybe some of you are dealing with the Taurus. But let's just stick on your stick to your energy. Um, we have purity. So I'm feeling um, that a lot of you are possibly changing your ways, wanting to go back to the basics of things. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry, I need to write something down. All right, sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> All right, I just had to do that. So yeah, you guys are really overall wanting to go back to the basics. Some of you may be making changes in your life that are going to help you kind of go back to that innocent version of yourself before all of the life lessons as i call them came into play so there's definitely going to be some new beginnings that are going to be happening for you in january and it's going to be like delightful type of energy like it's going to be something that's very glorious prosperous abundant um and then with this forgiveness card i kind of feel like you guys are, are needing to forgive yourself for something um and that's also why you may be trying to go back to that innocence or purity within yourself because maybe god's gone too far did something and you kind of regret it so I do feel like a lot of you um, do need to kind of go back to the basics in the situation. Um, I just need new love, so we'll see if that pops out. What does Libra need to know for January 2021? So we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So maybe some of you are without work and in January you're going to have that pick up. Or you're going to receive some type of money that will help you. Um, we have chemistry. So there's a strong mag magnetic attraction here. Something you guys are attracted to. So maybe it's a new path um, with this new beginning, obviously. But it's something that is, oops, propelling you forward. Oh, I'm going to try and get this. I don't like to get in the picture and everything. <laughs> I'm going to take all these since they came out. I got a raggedy uh, chair a little bit. All right, so we have romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. Calling in your soulmate. <laughs> your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. So maybe there was some type of disconnect here and there it involves forgiveness. Every time I ask, not ask, anytime I think about forgiveness when we're talking about someone, most of the time it's dealing with cheating, um, something that someone did. And we have deception here. 
So this is definitely a situation where someone was doing some shady stuff on the side. A uh, soulmate. It could have been a karma soulmate as well. But you do have feelings for this person, um, chemistry, and it's just like you may not be able to give them something. What I'm picking up here, and this is for some of you, not all, that you were dealing with someone that was after money and maybe you couldn't provide that to them because maybe you lost your job and the la lavish lifestyle this person was used to got taken away. So maybe they started looking in elsewhere, um, started to hide the fact that they were talking to someone else or you asked them about how did you get that new purse or something and then they're like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so someone was definitely hiding. And I kind of feel that a lot of you are needing to also forgive yourself and think positive when it comes to your love life. Um, if you want this person back, and this could also be that someone else new is coming in, um, after this deception. So maybe that's why a lot of you kind of just want to go back to the basics and then just forgive yourself for putting up or being with someone that had a bad character like this. What does Libra need to know about this situation? I don't know why I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, somebody had unattractive behaviors for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Broke bitch alert. Yeah. Ooh, you guys are getting some extra cards. So we have Broke Bitch Alert, which was the first card that came out. So definitely the first card over here is about finances and career, that your love life is affected by finances. We have Karmic Partner. So the person that you may have had some connection to that was very deceptive was a Karmic Partner. This is not somebody that you were meant to be with for a long period of time anyways. We have, you got these bitches taking notes. So I feel like this individual is watching your money. And they're a bitch beneath you. So this is somebody that didn't have money them down their damn self. And they wanted to come and take your money. When they found out that you couldn't provide anymore, they went off and found it somewhere else. And so a lot of you are needing to forgive yourself because maybe you blame yourself. Oh, if I had more money, they wouldn't have left. But I kind of feel like that was a blessing in disguise because this person, you're going to have a new beginning. You're going to be able to start over fresh. And I really feel I'm hearing boundaries. You need to set boundaries and see things for what they are in the beginning. I'm sure you had some red flags that this person was trying to use you for money or taking and never really getting, giving back. We have courtship again or at the bottom. So that means new beginnings definitely is going to come in. And look, we have soulmate. So Libra, you didn't lose nothing out with this person. You are calling in your real soulmate. It's going to be a new beginning. You're going to be happy with this person. And you're going to set boundaries from jump. And you're going to not get yourself so involved that if it doesn't feel right to you, you can walk away. You're going to walk away. Oops, what is this? Yeah, making plans. So that's positive. Um, let's see what else is going on. I really feel like this is going to pull up with the energy of this past person, this karmic person. Karmic people just drain you. They drain you financially, emotionally, spiritually. Like, they just... Well, it said dirty and messy. Yeah, this person was being messy. What does Libra need to know about this situation? Lied to you. <laughs> Told you that karmic person's energy was going to come in. That per This person was very deceptive and lied to you about the reason why they were even with you. What does Libra need to know about this situation? Tracking location. So like I said, this person watched you and was watching what you had going on. They may have even watched you before you even got with them. And then look, motivating. This person was motivated by money. Whoever you guys were deal dealing with was motivated by money. We have retreat. Mail running. <laughs> so I feel like this person, if it wasn't a masculine, someone ran from this situation when it was no longer beneficial to them. One more card, please. Mm. More card. And then we have gossip. 
So this person, all they did was bring drama and it was like a, a show to them. It was not something that, oh, I really care about this person. This person was set, set their sights on you to use you or is going to, because we're talking about January. So this is somebody that you may have met on some type of social media, or this person was talking to someone else on a social media, possibly Twitter, um, and were hiding that part from you. Yeah, they were juggling. So whoever had the most money is who they were going to go with. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see. What does Libra need to know about this situation? Some of you were waiting on this person. Maybe you thought it was really your soulmate or twin flame and it wasn't. This was a selfish individual that you were dealing with. They wanted you to do everything. <laughs> What does Libra need to know about this situation? So we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you just wanted answers. We have the Strength card. I'm going to go ahead and just put these down first. <clears throat> this is in the reverse. We have Judgment in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles. I just got used to saying reverse. Um, at the bottom, we have Five of Wands. This is somebody that you had to be in competition with other people for. This is somebody that would constantly argue with you or start problems when you couldn't provide something that they wanted, even if it's not financially they wanted something and if you couldn't provide it, they would start an argument or have problems with that. This is somebody that you try to communicate with or that you try to understand. And it's like this situation as it progressed, you start to realize that you're dealing with somebody that had no problems taking from you, taking financially from you and someone that didn't work. So this individual that you had did not have a real job. This is somebody that maybe they said, oh, I do this on the side or I'm not trying to be rude, but maybe they sold lashes or, uh, you know, something that anybody can do. It wasn't something that was special. It was just quick money. This person wanted quick money. So they did small things. They didn't really put the work into it. And a lot of times they would be able to just go to bed and not think about it. They wouldn't have any problems. But I feel like a lot of you didn't want to see this in this person. And so you didn't make a decision about it. You didn't make a decision about it, but you realized that, hey, this is not what I want. You needed clarity about some stuff. And it's like you found your strength or you will be finding your strength um, in January to move on from this. Yeah, because look, this person, all they brought was arguments and competitiveness. They made you feel like you had to work for their love or attention. But once you drop this person, you're going to be victorious. You're going to be moving on to a new path. Um, and you're actually going to meet this person that you're needing to be with. Look, Ten of Cups is at the bottom. You're not going to be one um, part of someone's juggling act. Uh, this Ten of Wands in reverse, you're going to release their burden. They're no, this person is no longer going to be a burden to you. Emotionally or financially. You're going to let this person go. <laughs> and the next person that you're going to be with, you're going to set boundaries. You're going to make sure it's reciprocated that you're receiving from someone just as much as you're giving. Because right now, this will of fortune's in the reverse. You just had a bad look. That's all it was. You had bad luck with this person because you wanted to see what you seen, but this person was just, that's how they do. And you're going to close out this cycle, end things with this individual, and January is going to look good for you guys. So this was just a little small bump in the road. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and clarify real quick. And then we're going to be done. I need to go eat some. I think I need to take a nap first before I eat anything because I'm tired. <laughs> I know that's going to good, like, damn. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, some of you did want to try and work on this because you just refused to believe someone could be like that. Why is the Knight of Swords here? We have the Page of Wands in reverse. So it's like the passion fizzled and then it's like now you wanted to communicate. So maybe this is something that started off as a passionate situation. Maybe it was just sex. Um, 
And then it's like over time, it started to progress on somebody's end, wanting to know more. And I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had because it's like once that wore off, because it's a page of wands. So there really wasn't even really much att uh, attraction. What I'm hearing is it was about out of loneliness. You got with this person out of loneliness. Why is strength here? And somebody did. Like I said, not everybody's story. Um, so yeah, a lot of you refused to see with this two of swords. You refused to see things for what they were. And you tried to make this impression or something in your head that it was different. Uh, Page of Cups. This is like you trying to force yourself to love this person. That's what I'm getting from that. You tried to force yourself... And look, this three of swords in reverse is clarifying the judgment in reverse. So a lot of you weren't ready to make a decision about this. And with this three of swords in reverse, it's kind of like you wanted to try and mend and heal this situation. Why is the eight of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the magician. So this person was trying to make others work for them. So this person did not have a real job they used people this magician and the uh, eight of pentacles they used people for what they wanted they didn't feel they had to work that it should just come to them why is the four of swords in reverse we have the seven of pentacles so you guys were out here working and seeing the fruits of your labor this person was also seeing that too because we have this person was uh, taking notes this person was watching your money while you were actually the one working and going to sleep knowing i'm gonna get that money so they were just very manipulative why is the nine of pentacles here why is the nine of pentacles here we have the four of pentacles so this person was trying to hold on to you because you have money. Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is actually harvested. They put the work in and they can reap the benefits. I don't know why I'm getting like Social Security. So maybe somebody retired. This could be for someone that's older. Um, but someone may have retired. And I'm I'm, I'm just going to say like I, like I hear it. Uh, Libra, there's a masculine, elderly masculine here who retired from something and had money and because of their loneliness his loneliness he met with a karmic partner who just used him for money this was somebody that didn't basically have anything a broke bitch and all she had to offer was probably a sexual relationship which made the masculine feel good about themselves and they were trying to hold on because that was their money that was their cash cow and then we have the king of cups here so this gentleman was very like loving and gave this person whatever they wanted so this person didn't want to leave but this person never felt a connection this was not real this two of cups in reverse this person did not have a genuine soulmate connection and this five of wands was here it was nothing but arguments you if you're this person um and they were a player too it was somebody that just did anything they needed to get what they wanted without thinking of the consequences um so this made sense to you because i feel like this is specific to just one person or one person's story tried to come out libra that somebody here uh was an elderly person that was lonely and just got hoodwinked by somebody a younger female a masculine got hooked by a younger female and you know finally he ran away <laughs> but uh that's you guys' reading um so january is gonna look good for you guys i feel like it's going to provide some type of clarity and a lot of you are going to remove this negative type of person out of your life and get on with your life and go back to the basics so excuse me so that's you guys' January 2021 reading. I am drained for the day. So if I take a nap, I might come back on later, but I'm really tired. So thank you guys for watching the video and I will catch you in the next one.